This weather report brought to you by Specsavers. Why pay more for multifocal glasses? Should have gone to Specsavers. Two-wheeled madness. Scooters, bikes, dumped in bushes, piled up in parks. Seven News investigates. Six o'clock. Tonight, 7 News headlines, at least four young men injured in a high-speed crash in Camaray following a police pursuit, the car slamming into a tree and bursting into flames. The Prime Minister has invited US President Joe Biden to address Australia's Parliament during a planned visit next year. Pharmacists are being given new powers to prescribe some medications to ease pressure on GPs and emergency departments. And at least six people are feared dead following a tragic mid-air collision at a Dallas air show. Now, here's Amber with the latest on Sydney's weather. Thanks, Mark. Well, the radar now shows showers impacting Sydney's outskirts, with 20 mils also recorded across parts of the Shoalhaven over the last hour. We reached the top of 26 degrees in the city today, a touch above average for this time of year. Right now, it is 24. The satellite shows this trough and cold front tracking east today, bringing those widespread showers to regional New South Wales. Severe weather warnings remain in place tonight for this large zone in yellow. The rain should ease tomorrow when the system reaches us here in Sydney with a second front set to bring cooler conditions when it clips southern parts of New South Wales on Tuesday. But that system will bring wet and gloomy conditions to most of the country's southeast corner tomorrow. A few showers and a possible storm in Canberra, up to 20 millimetres forecast across Melbourne. Rain also likely in Hobart. Showers easing in Adelaide, but plenty of sunshine in Perth tomorrow. Tops of 26 degrees. Across New South Wales, you can see scattered showers tomorrow as that front continues to track towards the coast. 10 to 15 millimetres is forecast for areas around Bathurst and Mudgee, up to 8 millimetres forecast for Wagga Wagga. But flood warnings and watches remain in place across much of the state as that rainfall makes its way into already saturated catchments, particularly across the state's western districts and also the Riverina. Closer to home, it should be a touch warmer tomorrow. 28 to 29 degrees is forecast for much of the city. 26 degrees along the beaches tomorrow, 29 at the airport. On the water, winds should track northerly to start the day at around 25 knots, reaching up to 30 knots offshore before decreasing slightly and shifting westerly during the afternoon. A strong wind warning is in place for most of the coast tomorrow, stretching from Byron all the way to Eden with gale winds forecast for the Macquarie coast tomorrow. But in the city, on the way to 29 degrees, a light shower or two is expected, which could linger along the coast for a couple of days but mostly sunny skies will return from midweek when that cold front passes over you can see temperatures dipping significantly though it will start to warm up as we head into next weekend but the early forecasts show yet another rain band approaching into next Saturday so potentially more showers returning but we should enjoy a bit of sunshine before then Mark. Not a bad start to the working week thanks Amber. That is 7 News for this Sunday we'll have updates for you throughout the evening I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team I hope you have a great night.